we have seen uh, till now what is uh, m governance, what is uh, uh, the services rendered and the channels that are used and the departments and some examples of various uh, government services that are desired by the stakeholders. Now, we will also see how the things are technically implemented across the uh, delivery mechanism. Uh, the most important thing is the communication infrastructure. Till now, we have been using uh, in delivery of e governance or mobile governance uh, like uh, 2G or 2.5G or 3G, GPRS, SMS and GPS, JS based uh, things as the infrastructure that is required to build the solutions across them. So, also there are other things like LAN, WAN, RFID uh, and IRDA, infrared uh, data uh, adapting that is what it is and TCP IP, Bluetooth. These are the different uh, communication infrastructure technology that can be used in building the solutions for the uh, mobile computing part of it or mobile governance part of it. And what are the similarly some mobile databases which are based on ADO technologies, SQL Server C, CE, Pocket PC access, mobile ODPC and uh, many other MySQL are some of the mobile databases that can be used adopted for storage uh, recording and other information that is required in implementing the solution for mobile governance uh, for the benefit of uh, citizens and the stakeholders. And there are different mobile operating system platforms that are available today as an, as we see it. We have been uh, familiar with WinCE, .NET platform, Windows mobile platform, Newton's OS, Blue OS, Unix and uh, open source embedded uh, Linux based OS, Symbian OS, Simputer OS. These are all the various uh, platform OSs that are available for usage of mobile devices and deliver the M governance related applications. The recent technologies like uh, uh, iOS of Apple and uh, Android of uh, Google and Windows Mobile 8 platforms are more popular as smart phone based applications which have more power, more storage per database and more information uh, access mechanisms based on the latest technologies of uh, web based and uh, mobile telecom based services that can be rendered. What are the hardware platforms? There are hardware pl manufacturers in the country and across the globe for the mobile phones like Android, iPhone, uh, Nokia mobile mobility, Sony, Ericsson and the various uh, applications uh, service providers are also there in developing the application tools in uh, uh, desired uh, application transform. I can say the these things have made mobile governance implementation much more versatile, much more easier for the application developers to deliver the entire uh, gamut of uh, mobile governance uh, to the benefit of all the stakeholders. The development tools include like a Microsoft C sharp technology or VB or dot net or compact framework and Microsoft embedded uh, visual basic is based as baseline solutions. Microsoft uh, also provides uh, some component model based application development and we, we also see that. Uh, uh, Apple comes out with various uh, operating system versions and uh, uh, new capabilities starting from Newton uh, toolkit and Newton OS to latest uh, iPhone 6 level application that can be used in M governance implementation. So, also other platforms like the Android based application that can be developed. The smart governance and the smart applications can be developed using the latest uh, handheld devices or the mobile devices which have the capability of telecommunication uh, for SMS and uh, MMS services to web based services for application development part of it. That is the uh, capability of uh, these uh, devices and the latest uh, technologies provide across the hardware platforms to build applications. These uh, platforms are uh, IDEs like the phone gap or HTML5 facilitate the applications in one go for to be deployed on all platforms without 
any change or a little change required to customize it. So, that makes the turnaround time for application development very, very fast, which can be done by small group of people like one or two or at the most four people can do like a business entrepreneurs or innovation or incubation centers that can uh, do a mobile computing uh, solution for small applications, which are more uh, uh, customer desirable in their perception and experimental. The delivery mechanism of all these things platforms also facilitates easier way of deployment and usage for the end users. Coming to various uh, specific department based uh, gov central govern e governance or m governance projects include the following uh, departments which can be considered specific to their department requirements like the central exercise and the customs for their tax uh, reminders or uh, tax collection practices like the banking and income tax uh, and the insurance uh, things. Banking I can say like the uh, mobile banking which facilitates for issue of uh, uh, transfer of uh, funds from one uh, account to other account, login facilities, balance uh, uh, known current balance availability and many other information request for a checkbook or request for a uh, change of address all these things are possible. Income tax uh, also facilitates uh, through M governance it is uh, customer base uh, by giving different alerts and uh, uh, status of their uh, tax returns and other things. Similarly, insurance uh, general insurance or life insurance or motor insurance you can uh, use these insurance uh, mobility based solutions for uh, spot uh, generation of uh, insurance coverage certificates so on so forth. Similarly, the biggest user of uh, centralized uh, 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 central government project uh, is Aadhaar which can also be availab made available on Aadhaar for uh, change of address or for some other additional uh, requirements that can be unlimited by them uh, on various uh, government uh, services that are coming out. For, uh, for example, linking of the Aadhaar card with your uh, HP gas connection or other uh, gas, uh, gas service providers. Pension is one of the department uh, which facilitates uh, the status of pension delivered through banks to the uh, receivers part of it. MCA which is a <coughs> ministry of uh, company affairs also has a opportunity to do M governance and uh, various uh, business houses to interact to give the file status of their uh, applications and uh, request for uh, additional information and so on and so forth. National citizens database which is nothing but uh, more importantly the census uh, can also be used uh, the uh, mo mobile governance uh, applications like say the uh, sample survey which can be done using the mobile governance or the uh, census uh, which uh, the government of India does directly using the mobile governance applications and the passport and immigration uh, is another department where we have the uh, usage of M governance giving the application applicants the status of their uh, passport uh, issue where it is and wha what are the stages police clearance received or not and so on so forth and visa and arrival uh, applications can also be considered for this uh, M governance part of it. Census as I mentioned earlier we can also be considered at the uh, uh, central government which is being done at once in 10 years uh, uh, for entire country and sample survey being done on every half year basis across the country on uh, miniature sample model for the census department for various uh, price census or specific uh, economic census so on and so forth. There are other state government projects uh, across uh, the uh, departments of uh, state which include agriculture, education, e auction, commercial taxes, and e district and healthcare, employment exchanges, land records. All these uh, uh, road and transport or even the police, all these things will require some time or the other the interaction between the government department or within the department to facilitate the M governance 
effective and uh, ensure uh, effective services being rendered towards uh, the implementation of M governance. Each and every department can be considered by their uh, department of process and procedures, what way they can interact easily with this uh, central government, we, with the stakeholders like citizens, business houses and so on and so forth and ease and make the uh, make the ease of operations and interactions with the people and the government. 